So if you ever wanted to add 3D effects or like a fake AR effect to your background, well, that's what we're gonna cover today, how you can set this up using Expert Broadcaster and Expert VCam. So first you're gonna to need to make the background loop. So basically set up your webcam and Xsplit Broadcaster and make sure you do it where the lighting is consistent. So don't use like window light because it can shift as the clouds change, use like actual lighting in your room. And then make sure that the settings on the webcam are consistent. So manually set the white balance, manually set the exposure because these can change as you go in and out of the frame. Basically you want this consistent background loop that doesn't change or shift because anything like that will really destroy the effect. But once you have that, just record the loop. If you want things going on in the background, as long as they're seamless in a loop, you can have that happen, like a little critter scurrying across if you want to do like Deja Vu Cat or something like that. But make sure the loop is consistent and seamless and then stop the recording. So once you have your background recording, you might need to edit it, make sure it's a seamless loop. Then you're going to drop that loop into Expert Broadcaster, set it to loop as well. Then you're going to want to boot up Expert VCam, add your webcam to Expert VCam. Make sure the quality settings are set to highest in Expert VCam, and then turn things like remove your chair and then remove your background and then add yourself into Expert VCam. And there you're pretty much set. Now you have this background loop and you can add different effects into the background. So let's talk about that next. So now you can add elements into your background to create that AR effect. So basically this is going to sit in the layer in between you in the foreground and your background. So if you have something that's like that can be chroma keyed, you can do that and set it in the background. Or you can do something like put a video and use shift to basically tilt things along the Z axis and X split to kind of create this 3D effect. You can really go crazy. The possibilities are endless. If you've used this, let us know. If you have any questions about the setup, let us know in the comments. We'd be glad to help and see what you create. Thanks again for watching. Do like and subscribe if tutorials like this are helpful and useful and you want to see more of them. See you next time.